Whoa! Mama's home! Mama's home! Mommy's home! Oh, jeez. This is an even worse angle. I swear to God, <laughs> he acts the same way if I've been gone for 10 minutes at the grocery store or if he's been missing for five nights. Yes! Mama's home! Mama's home! He was not any more excited to see me after being lost for five nights in the woods than he was when I'm gone for five minutes. Equally as wonderful. My baby, mommy's home. Mommy's home. I invited like at least five people, and ironically, to come over and do some drugs and carry like my furniture upstairs and around. And nobody took me up on that offer, so I should probably just kill my. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. I have mixed feelings about these couches. They're the couches I dreamed about for years with the red shed carpet. <gasps> oh my god, you guys, I manifested this. Literally, I even have proof. I have proof that I manifested this. There's a video, I'm gonna insert a clip here where I talk about how I dream about having gold velvet couches with a red shed carpet and wh what oh my god what it happened <laughs> so i've decided at my house uh red shed gold velvet couches i manifested this oh my god you guys anyways oh my god but i have like mixed feelings about them so i always dreamed about but at what cost that was really emotional kid music at what cost my grandmother had to die you just never expect your grandmother to die. It's been really hard for me. Um, basically, when I was like setting up this place, I was like, well, I want the red shade carpet. I'm trying to manifest a house with a red shade carpet. I'm trying to manifest a red shade carpet and gold couches. But I didn't have the couches because my grandmother was still alive. And it's like, if I knew she was gonna die, then maybe I could have just held off. But I didn't think she was die. You just never expect your grandmother to die. Anyways, the girls will get it, get it. Checks to us. I need a rebuttal, a rehearsal, a refresher. That's what I mean. <sighs> I think about the times I was like seven, those were really good years. I think it'd be fun to be a kid for like a day, but I don't really want to be a kid again. I don't want to grow up again because I'm like where I wanted to be when I was like seven. It's really easy to look back and be like, oh, I wish I could be a kid again with the responsibilities, but I know that when I was a kid, that's not how I felt. I hated being a kid. I wanted to be old so I could disappear and never talk to anybody that knew me ever again. I did kind of a stupid thing tonight. It's like not that stupid, it's more like funny. It's because it's my friend in the army. I'm like, why am I making fun of myself? Because he's the one that always makes fun of me. So maybe because he's not here anymore, he's like dying. Where'd it go? I hope that whole video didn't just delete. Basically, the key to being a confident person is just telling yourself that you look really cool all the time. You can be like, this is a terrible angle, which it probably is. But you know what? I look really fucking cool. This is the definition of cool. And this applies all the time. This is what you tell yourself. You know, you ever have those moments? where you say something and then you're like, oh, it's probably kind of cringy or embarrassing. And then it keeps you up at night. Think about it years down the line. I think about how I slapped a teacher's ass when I was seven. I think about the times I was like seven, those were really good years. That definitely keeps me up at night. The key to that is just telling yourself that you were really cool. That was a really cool thing you did. That was a really cool thing you said. It wasn't awkward at all. It wasn't weird. It was really cool. And you just have to tell yourself that and believe that. Believe that to be true. And if somebody confronts you about it, if they're like, hey, look, that thing you said, I kind of hurt my feelings, or I feel like that was a little bit inappropriate, or that was a little bit weird of you. In that situation, I would not recommend doubling down and being like, you know what, fuck you, I'm really cool, because I'll probably burn the bridge. Think about the context, maybe that's what you're looking for, but acknowledge it and be like, you know what, yeah, you're right, and I'm sorry, and then don't do it again. But you need to let go of easier shit than done, right? Just stop being anxious. Just stop being depressed. Like, just be happy, okay? Just don't be anxious. Have you ever tried that? Okay, because I have anxiety. And sometimes I'll be like, oh, that was really weird. Did I say the wrong thing? Did That was like weird of me to like say that or that I looked really weird. No, 
I just tell myself all the time that I am really cool. Everybody is blessed to be graced with my presence. I don't look back and think, oh, that was so awkward. I mean, sometimes I do. Like, you know, the other day, my friend ran up next to me at a stoplight and they were like honking their horn. But I assumed it was somebody cat calling me because nine times out of 10, I have experienced that where somebody's like honking their horn, I look over and they're like, sadly. So I like, you know, was ignoring them. But then finally I looked over and I was like, oh, it's my friend next to me. But then I was like, did I look really like awkward and weird, like ignoring you for like 30 seconds? No, I looked really cool. And if you bring that up to me, you're like, hey, you looked really weird. It was really weird of you to like not notice me. Then I'll explain the reason why. And they'll probably understand. And if they don't understand, well, that's fine too. Is this making sense? Anyways, there's this guy, friend, who would be really anxious about saying offensive things because one time, hanging out and he said something i also kind of forgot what it was but some people got offended by it but then he was like so anxious the rest of the night being like i feel like everybody hates me and i was like you know what dude don't go through life being anxious okay just don't be anxious have you ever tried that just do your best and if somebody calls you out of it and they're like hey man that was kind of not funny listen to them understand and don't do it again and i think most people can look at you and see that you're genuinely a nice guy and if they don't want to be your friend that's okay just accept that um i do not know where it is but <laughs> this is how to be really cool with the real queen secret is just to tell yourself all the time that you're a really cool and confident person and go through life believing that manifest it manifest not having social anxiety just don't be anxious have you ever tried that absolutely you should be off the motorbahn hey shout out literal cream <laughs>